Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. Today we're going to escape from Monkey Island. And yeah, last time we bested Jojo Jr. In Monkey Combat, that is a sentence and a half. But yeah, we bested Jojo Jr. in Monkey Combat to obtain a bronze hat. So what can we do with bronze hats and monkey heads of a grayish color? Well, we put the bronze hat on the monkey's head. Duh. Any minute now, Guybrush. Wow. Nice throw. That's effectively a gigantic ultimate insult. I know, right? Why is the banana picker retracting into the nose? Well, that was strange. <laughs> That's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Like that coloring thing. But all right, nothing left to do now but go inside the monkey mouth. I wonder what all this stuff does. Might as well sit down. Better not. No, no, p please sit. Can't imagine that this actually steers anything. This must be the captain's chair. It's got an armrest control pad thing. Starfish date 182.43. The gamma quadrant has no monkeys. <laughs> Starfish date 182.43. The gamma quadrant has no monkeys. Okay. They look like controls of some sort. Nothing happened. Hmm. It looks like something important is supposed to go in there. A prominent slot, huh? Could it have anything to do with the fourth piece of the ultimate insult? I'll just put the gubernatorial symbol here. Hey, it fits. Cause yeah, we did learn from Herman. Well, not quite. Herman Toothright, like that's not his real name. He's actually Elaine's granddad. But yeah, we learned from him that we need the. They're playing Monkey Twister, really? <laughs> but yeah, we learned from him that the gubernatorial symbol is the fourth piece of the ultimate insult. Which is why they want Elaine. Duh. It's Monkey Gaddon. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> Oops. I better get out of here before someone finds out what I did. Relax there, son. We're going for a little ride. Sure. Pull that lever there, would you? ride. What do you mean by that? We're taking this giant monkey robot to Melee Island to rescue my granddaughter. Giant monkey robot. Hmm. Are you sure you have all of your memory back? Maybe I should hit you again. Rise from your grave. Well, it's technically not a grave, but Whatever. Okay, that smoke effect was better than it had any right to be. Bye. And with that, we have escaped from Monkey Island. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Oh, wait, there's still more game to go. Sorry. Because we kind of need to save the day. Act 3 plus. Guybrush kicks unusually large butt. As we gaze at that. Oh, okay. Poseidon's pig sticker is that. Unless I miss my guess. That's an ultimate insult amplification tower. You just made that up, didn't you? 
An amplifier. Of course. Guybrush, this tower is part of Ozzy's fiendish plot. Oh, I see. He plans to build really ugly towers all over the Caribbean, driving down property values to the point where he can scoop up all the land for a fraction of its real value. How ingenious. What the flimdy flam are you talking about? Ozzy's gonna use that tower to amplify the effects of an ultimate insult a million fold, so he can simultaneously expose every pirate in the Tri-Island area to the devastating effects of the ultimate insult. Are you sure it's not the property values thing? If you it could be a little bit of both. Your destiny and save your pirate friends. You must climb this tower and destroy its devilish machinery. Somehow I knew you were gonna say that. All right, so how can we do that? My God, you move slow. For a medium-sized tower, it's pretty huge. That's the shortest of the very, very, very tall towers. Wait, what was he going to say about that conch shell? That's the second largest... No. No, that is the largest conch shell I've ever seen. My God. Can I please move faster? Also, I have no clue what I need to do. Um, wait a minute. Where did they find a tree big enough to make a plank this big? Cause all the other towers have something sticking out of them. I guess. All right then, use it like a diving board. Can't believe this actually worked. Look at excessively large switch. There's a very large switch sticking out of this shell. Hmm. I guess we can use it, see what it does. What does this lever do? Animated lump of voodoo flotsam. I'll tell you what's wrong. This so called ultimate insult doesn't work. I tried locking it against every piece of junk in this accursed hovel, but nothing happens. Ha. Well, I guess Grandpa was too smart for you diabolical dodos after all. Quiet, you. Grr. 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 Well, that's unfortunate. What in the name of Adam Smith's invisible hand is that? That? Oh, that's nothing. Just a piece of junk I bought on my honeymoon. Darn! The gubernatorial seal of Melee Island. Of course! Let me see that. Well, that seems to have shaved the proverbial dingo. Let's test this bugger out. Ah, pig nose. What? Would you be so good as to stand over there? Look, Mr. High and Mighty Mandrel, I'm getting awfully tired of following orders. I think it's about time we renegotiated the terms of my employment. Or oh, what? Or I'll fill your belly full of lead, you sissified fossil! No one messes with Pink Nose the Pirate and lives to tell the tale! Why, I'll rip off your arms and I'll beat you! You were saying? Please, please don't hurt me, Mr. Mandrel. I'll do whatever you say from now on, I promise. Take a long walk up a short pier, you craven wretch. <laughs> right -o, sir. Well, Mrs. Threepwood, it seems as though the power of the ultimate insult is finally mine. <laughs> Ooh, let me use it on Elaine. All in due time, Captain. But first, let's give her a taste of things to come. Ah, you're a sadist after my own blackened lump of a heart, Mandrill. 
For years, the Caribbean has been buffeted by the unpredictable winds of runaway piracy. Now, by the power of the ultimate insult, I hereby banish those chaotic tempests and usher in a new age of orderly consumerism. I am Ozymandrol. Look upon my works, ye mighty pirates, and despair. They really did it. They really did it. Oh my god, that is actually a reference to Ozymandias. Or Ozymandias, my bad. Like, you gotta pronounce that correctly. Wow. So that was the pun in his name all along. Ozymand? The okay. There's supposed to be a Caribbean shattering kaboom! Work! Damn your eyes! Work! And a Looney Tunes reference. Amazing. This plan would never succeed. I guess this just goes to show that you should never send an Australian girly man to do the work of a real pirate. Lechuk, get back here and help me fix this thing. Oh, Ozzy. You two stay here and guard the robot. Good luck. Try not to break any of my stuff. Nice kid, but about as sharp as a soggy pancake. You know what I mean? Tell me about it. I'll show that chum bucket patty waste some real voodoo. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Guybrush, look out for... The <laughs> insult. Oh, I don't know how you dimwits managed to sabotage my magnificent insult amplification apparatus, but I'll at least have the satisfaction of annihilating your arrogant pirate souls. Somehow, I always knew it would end like this. Really? Prepare to meet your doom, Three Puds. He's What's an that? old Did man. You, you can his kick his ass. Like, come on. You won't escape that easy, you swashbuckling ninnies. I just flank him. He can't get y'all both with a single insult. Right, Barry, a reef. <laughs> ah, ye be looking like ants from up here. Guybrush? Yes? Am I the only one seeing a giant walking statue of the Chuck on our front lawn? Uh, no. <laughs> Help! Hang on, I'll be right back. Guybrush, don't you dare leave me! Don't worry, my beloved. Guybrush isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Let go of me, you rock brain monstrosity! You insignificant mortal flea! How dare you wield your pathetic voodoo magics against the immortal might of the demon pirate Lechuk! I'll grind your bones to make me grog, you triple tyrant crap! Ah, oh, shut up! That was unfortunate. How may I serve you, master? Well, eventually, I'll be wanting you to squish every pirate on the face of the planet into a sticky red goo. But for now, let's just... Kill Guybrush Threepwood! Oh. Come on, guys! We've got to get this giant monkey robot moving now! Where's my granddaughter? Actually, that's kind of a funny story. Threepwood! Where did you find that ridiculous looking contraption? It was a present from H.T. Marley. Grandpa? I'm in here, dear! Well, what an unexpected family reunion. Too bad I have to ruin it by savaging your puny minds with the power of the ultimate insult! Now what? Now is your undoing, evil one. Now is the time foretold in the ancient prophecies of Monkey Island. Now is the time for the ultimate in monkey combat! That was way more dramatic than it had any right to be. 
And the loading screen is kind of lessening the emotion here. Please, game. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on. A little PS2 that could. There we go. So yeah. We're partaking in monkey combat. There is a lot of HP at work here, but as you can see, you know, we heal up. Seriously. You don't have to do anything. You heal. So, you got your little, uh, stance going on right there. What, what freaking stance is that? Charging chimp, that's... Huh. Okay, wait a minute. I... Yeah, I, I don't have what to beat you there. Um, might as well do something. Yep, that still beats me. Unfortunately. But what you about to do now, LeChuck? Okay, well, fine. You're gonna hold that stance? I'll just wait until I heal. So, meanwhile, I can just see... I don't ha Oh, wait, I can go to that. Alright, then. Booyah. Alright, we did some damage to him, and... Ak oop e Ak oop eek Hmm. Triangle Circle X, huh? Alright. And, ah, crap. Took too long. Now he's healing up. <sighs> yeah. That's the thing about this fight. You can never win. By normal means. Because, yeah, your HP just heals... I mean, well, both your and his HP heals, like, too quickly. So he can never defeat you thoroughly, and you can never defeat him thoroughly. So what are you supposed to do? Well, if you remember the basics of monkey combat, when you match your opponent, they get a little upset. And they have, like, some stages of animations that they go through. You know, they give you the little, you know, finger waggle, like, oh, no, you didn't. And then they start banging their chest, you know, like, you know, just, just really upset, like, how dare you? I am alpha male. Look at me hit my chest like this. You can't disrespect me like that. And then there's the final animation where they just hit their head multiple times. And where was Ozymandrill standing on Statue of LeChuck? Yeah. So, in order to beat the final battle, you have to get a draw. I don't have these animations. This is bad. Um, because it's going to be a foul if I do Triangle Circle X. And then he'll hold on to that. Okay. So I just need to go through the motions until I can get a good, like, whatchamacallit. Back, oop, chi, triangle, circle, square. But yeah, until I can, like, match his motions. So this might take a minute. Can I do ak oop chi? No, I cannot, but I can do this. Draw. Oh, no, you didn't. And now it's about to be easy if we start off. Oh, no, we're not starting off on the same one. Dang, did he say chi oop eek? Okay, well, he hit me with another anxious ape. Can I match that? Yes, I can. How dare you disrespect me? Ek, 
Eek Oop. Triangle X Circle. So then... Would that be a foul if I... Eh, whatever. I, I can give it a shot. Yep, that's a foul. And he's just gonna hold that stance. Or not. Okay, hit me with that drunken monkey. What is that? Yeah, I can't do it. God dang it. Okay, fine. Let's force something then. Skybrush! Help! I'm trying! Ek eek oop. I can't believe I'm actually about to beat this game when I only have like half of the monkey combat board filled out. Now just imagine playing this without the cheat sheet. Holy crap. Um. Okay. Yeah, I think that translates to that? Oop. About to end this man's whole career. Ack eek oop. D R A W. Chi. Hey, what's going on here? It's a draw. That's what's going on, fam. Wait a minute, you can't do this to me! I'm Ozzy Mandrel! I'm the future of the Caribbean! I come in, stop that! Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had it coming. I like how we were on a giant deserted beach. Like, really giant? Because that should have wiped out the entire island. I'm also very disappointed that my super hot reference was just kind of bad up on the very end. Because it didn't occur to me until I was halfway through the input. It's like, oh wait, I can do super hot right here, but eh. Whatever. They can't all be winners. <laughs> Don't even think about it, Pink Boy. Guybrush, how can I ever thank you for reuniting me with my granddaughter? Well, for starters, you could put on some pants. <laughs> Consider it done. Also, yes? Would you please be the governor of Melee Island again? Uh-uh, no way, no how. I hated being governor. Well, why do you think I went all the way to Australia in the first place? For the cuisine? Grandfather, please. I can't stand being the governor. It's no way for a pirate to live. Guybrush and I need to be on the open seas, waving our swords, swashing our buckles. We're too young to become career bureaucrats. Well, <laughs> all right. But you better come by to visit. Every month. And I want to start seeing some pirate great-grandchildren. Um... <laughs> We'll see what we can do. And so the circle <laughs> of life continues. Hey, you're a talking monkey. Oh, uh, Elaine, I'd like you to meet Jojo Jr., the monkey prince of Monkey Island. Well, thank you, noble Jojo, for helping to make the seas once again safe for pirates everywhere. It was my pleasure, Mrs. Threepwood. But now I must be going. Somewhere out there, my monkey brothers and I have a destiny to fulfill. Where will you go? I don't really know. I hear that Martha's Vineyard is nice this time of year, but first we have a crew member who wants to disembark. Timmy! Farewell, everyone. Goodbye, Jojo. We'll never forget you. Of course I'll never forget him. I mean, he's a talking monkey. How creepy is that? Well, 
That's it. We've saved the mansion, found your grandfather, and once again made the Caribbean safe for bloodthirsty, grog-swilling reprobates. Phew, who knew married life would be so much fun? Skybrush, now that Grandpa's governor again, we're free. <laughs> we can go wherever and do whatever we want. Hmm. What do I want to do? I mean, I, I, I would like this. <laughs> oh my god, the choices! Uh, screw it. <laughs> and that's the game a yeah, bit of an anticlimactic ending I guess you know the fact that you have to get a draw to beat the game I, I don't know that eh I do have mixed feelings about that, actually. I mean, it is interesting, but also by this point, like, you've grinded a lot in Monkey Combat, so... But I, I think you would ultimately figure out, like, okay, yeah, this isn't gonna work. The animations are long enough where you will never truly beat them. Especially if you need to consult your, like, cheat sheet or any combination you wrote down. Seriously. The PC version of this did not have that cheat sheet. How in the world <laughs> were you able to beat that? I mean, I know it's possible, but my god. You'd have had to grind, like, so hard in Monkey Combat for that. And I'm still stunned I was able to beat this with only, like, half the sheet filled out. Oh, well. So, yeah, that's Monkey Island. Or, well, Escape from it. All in all. Fun point-and-click adventure game. I enjoy it still to this day. It's funny. I like it. I like point-and-click games. Definitely not as um, cryptic as some, though it does have its fair share of moments that are like, okay, that's kind of messed up. But I guess that could also be on me for like not really trying to explore every nook and cranny, even though I thought I was, but fine. I still can't believe I missed that glue bottle. But I stand by the coffee uh, mug and Star Buccaneers, like in the window. That was just... Oh no, oh no. I, I probably could have did a better job about that, but... The Ode La Chuck, that I just call BS. <laughs> it wasn't even labeled at the... Uh, like, perfume stand. The least they could have done was, like, when you talk to Hugo or examine the different bottles, then, like, it'll show off or, like, co consistently show up as O oh, De La Chuck bottle. But no, it's like, c bottle of cologne. It's like, really? All right. Yeah, them's be the VAs. Really? Tom Kenny was on this? Huh. It's actually amazing. Rob Paulson? Holy crap. They had some good people on this. Tress McNeil? Really? Holy crap. But yeah, I'm just looking at these now. I missed the first sheet. Names I don't really recognize aside from Rob Paulson. He, he did quite a bit here. And Tom Kenny, okay. Gray Delise? Oh my god. Usually you don't really see Simpsons people doing too much else outside of the Simpsons. That just goes to show you the kind of budget that LucasArts had back in the day. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm stunned by that. I didn't even notice those voices. You know, Tom Kenny, he's like really good at just like changing up his voice. But it's like his go to like heroic voice that he does for Spyro. Like he, he does that quite a bit for different things. Like that one I can pick out. And of course, SpongeBob, but. Huh. 
All right, but yeah, just sitting through the uh, credits. You know, we didn't get enough of them during the opening. Yeah, uh, that is it for the game. Uh, there is some other little fun things I can show off, and I will show them off. Not in a bonus part, though. It's kind of pointless for that. But as a little addendum to this video, there's not too much to show off. Just a mini game, um, the Abomination of Nature, which I should have gotten. That was my fault entirely for forgetting about it until I got to Jambalaya. And just other fun little things, including a time paradox. You might already know what that one is if you just think about it. Because, yeah, this is on the chill spectrum of uh, adventure games in that you can't really get into a dead end, nor can your character die, aside from one moment. Well, I say that, but I mean, I've also played other ones. That, like, this isn't like the early days of adventure games where, like, you know, King's Quest could fuck you over, like, just at the drop of a dime. I mean, like, Clue Finders and Jump Start, those don't have dead ends. You can't die in those, but still. But yeah, uh, there is one way to have Guybrush die in this game, which you'll be seeing shortly. These some long credits, though. Well, I know we gotta get through everybody, but wow. Eh, I should count my lucky stars, I guess, because we haven't reached Warner Brothers or Ubisoft levels of long yet. My god. Ubisoft credits don't make any sense whatsoever. What is the world record for speed run of Rayman Origins and Legends? Because I would be... Like, it, it would be hilarious if the world record is quicker than the time it would take for the credits to go through. <laughs> and the credits at the end of every Arkham game is just... Wow. So yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Uh, funny game. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Monkey Combat. It's a neat idea. Uh, just a little shaky in execution. At least they improved it for the PS2 version. I feel sorry for the poor unfortunate souls who played the PC version. I even remember seeing like on some message boards where people were saying like they never were able to beat this on PC because of just how complicated Monkey I or Monkey Combat is when you don't have a sheet at your disposal. So you gotta write everything down but then things change around and uh, it's, it's just a big old mess. Because, yeah, you also have to keep track of what beats what and what each stance actually looks like, too. It's it's rough. Now we're just going through the special thanks. Y'all couldn't just do scrolling credits. Y'all gotta do these. Okay, fine. So how about that weather? It's... It's gotten warmer. It's almost like summer outside right now, even though it's only like 40 degrees. <laughs> At least the snow's melting. I mean, it freaking feels like summer, considering we went through like a couple days of negative degree weather. I am dating when I'm recording this. Oh, very special thanks to George Lucas. Back when he was not insane. Yeah, I mean, he was kind of insane back then. Um, Elaine? Jimmy? Herman? Mommy? G George? Hey, guys! I'm stuck down here! This is Wally! Lindy! Oh, long way down! Uh, Murray? Uh, Sean? Mike? Oh, Jar Jar? <laughs> and there we go. Just a special end of credits scene. That doesn't happen if you skip the credits. So that be the game. And I will see you 
in a few seconds for some bonus stuff. Alright, so right here we're in the bonus stuff menu. You can view cutscenes and the credits and whatnot. Uh, concept art, I believe I did like cycle through this previously, but just in case, you know, here's all the concept art and whatnot. Stan is the man indeed. So yeah, just enjoying looking at everybody and everything again. The concept art is more subdued than the actual like bodies they went with for the full game, but whatever. There's LeChuck and uh yeah, the three judges. Okay, just going through. Not much to really say here. Charles L. Charles and Ozzy Mandrill, and yeah, we're all the way back around. Epic jump cut. So, yeah, now that we've seen the concept art, just some more bonus stuff. It, it, like, I was just running around for minutes on end trying to figure out why this stuff wasn't working for me, and that's because I was looking at the wrong thing. But yeah, there are two mini games we can unlock. Uh, one is only obtainable when we have filled out the entire monkey combat table which is only achievable in the ps2 version of the game so i'm about to go ahead and grind that right now yay me and the other one um well if you're playing the pc version of this game you would talk to Murray and then try to pick him up. He'd say, haha, nice try this time, Threepwood, but I have nailed myself down to this stool. So then you just spin him around and you keep spinning him and you keep spinning him. And then like he'll just say random things every time you do it, like, don't touch me. I told you to stop touching me, accursed mortal. That's it. I'm going to curse you. If you keep touching me, I'm going to curse you. All right, that's it. You're cursed. You're going to have a rash now. You'll be sorry. And then like he'll start repeating himself and blah, blah, blah. And then when he starts repeating himself, you move away from him, and on your keyboard, you type Murray Ball, and you unlock that mini game. To unlock it on the PS2 version, well, we need to do a little something with uh, the little machine in Dead Eye Dave's place. So the fact that I was able to unlock it last time was because I had accidentally found a specific name. But yeah, you need that particular name like you have to search for it and then once you get that specific name you get the mini game unlocked so yeah because I didn't see that name on this file it was impossible for me to showcase that but yeah we'll get to that after we take a look at this also, uh, the PC version has other little bonuses that I can't show because I don't have that version of the game. Where you can press, I believe it's Control Alt W? It's Control W and something else, but yeah, when you press that key combination, you win the game. You automatically beat the game by just doing that. Yeah. Fun little uh, bonus there. Also, if at any point you type in, I believe it's Skull, you'll hear Murray laugh. It's, it's just there for fun. Yeah. Oh, and finally, this is just a dummy thing. There is no multiplayer in this game. I even plugged in my Mad Cat's controller just to make sure, and, uh, you know, I don't wanna. No, Tag Team Adventure Gaming is just too easy. TCP socket blind, uh, blind failed. Look, there's no network play, okay? And no host set multiplayer. I can read that quickly enough because red on this background is kind of not good. Stop asking already, no multiplayer. And then it just starts repeating. So yeah, it's just a little dummy option there, you know, make you think, oh my God, there's multiplayer. No network play, okay. Multiplayer support. Hot seat multiplayer support. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah, um, there's no multiplayer in this game. The more you know. Maybe it is for Murray Ball? I don't know, I'm, I'm recording all of this before I even, like, do the extra stuff, so, yeah. Whatever. 
So first off, we have monkey invaders that you unlock by completely filling out your monkey combat grid. You have no idea how long this freaking took me. No idea. Because you need to get every single combination and how they relate to each uh, stance. And it, it was... This, this took a long time. This took a long time. Screw you, RNG. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead, go into bonus features. It's all the way down here. The middle thing, the space right there is going to be where the next mini game will appear. But yeah, here's Monkey Invaders. It's not worth the hassle, by the way. I'm just going to let you know that now. So yeah, as you can see, it's Space Invaders. With Peg Knows Pete, Ozzy Mandrill, Charles L. Charles, and Murray the Evil Skull. I was never amazing at um, Space Invaders, so... You really can't spam your shots. Oh, I didn't know you could actually, like, intercept the invader shots, too. Yeah, no. I'm not about to get a good score. Seriously, Space Invaders is not my strong suit. Especially when you shoot very slowly like that. It's just a fun little mini-game thing. I'll give it one more go. I want to see if I can actually, like, clear out a wave, but... Wait, the trees actually block my shot? You propelled my dingo. Hey, what are you doing? That, I don't think that's how Space Invaders works. I don't think you can, like, destroy your own bases, but I guess so. Yeah, this, um, this ain't gonna happen. You are gonna have such a rash. Yeah. I suck at Space Invaders. Stop that. So much. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Third time's the charm? I'll try. Okay. I really think it's messed up that you can destroy your own trees, though. Okay, just go ahead, spam your shots. I'm sorry that it had to come to that, Murray, but you're an invader right now. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, they're speeding up. Nope, this is not gonna happen. Uh, yeah. Too low. Alright. So that's Monkey Invaders, just a nice little time waster there. Like I said, it is totally not worth <laughs> the shit you have to go through to unlock that, but eh, there you go. Anyway, onward to the next bonus thing. Up next we have Murray Ball, which to unlock you need to find the name Ryan J. Dances with Wolves in Dead Eye Dave's shop. Uh, this name is the same for each game. So, yeah, it's not randomized. If you look up Ryan J. Dances with Wolves, you unlock Murray Ball. It's that simple. As for the game itself, it's literally Pong. A very boring pong at that uh the ball doesn't really see well the ball being murray doesn't really seem to speed up and there's really not much else you can do other than move up and down r1 and r2 raises and lowers that number in the middle but i don't even think that's like the game point or like the amount of points you need to get to win so, yeah, I, I don't know. Murray Ball is just kind of weird to me, and I don't really know how it works. But, hey, there you go. If you want to play Pong, <laughs> you got it right there. I guess the only saving point for the game are the one-liners that Murray throws out. But that can get old pretty quick. So, yeah, this game is kind of boring. Not as good as Monkey Invaders, in my opinion.
And finally, it's time to get a game over. Here, take this. What's this for? It's a skeleton key, the most useful item that you could ever possibly ask for in an adventure game. Use it to open the gate. Oh, you'll need this too. Hey, great, a gun. Watch out, peg nose. And this. Um, great, a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. So now that we got all this good stuff, let's go ahead and shoot Guybrush. Ow! Gee, they're right. Gun owners are five times more likely to shoot themselves. Well, that wasn't as dramatic as I thought it would be. and the corpse I'd prefer to keep this gate between myself and the corpse so okay we kind of killed ourselves that's fine we can just go about our business you know just traveling through the mists of time marsh trying to make it to peg nose Pete's hideout nothing bad is going to happen nothing at all Oh, and here's our good buddy Guybrush. Let's go ahead and give him the items that we're supposed to give him, shall we? Ow! Gee, you're right. Gun owners are five times more likely to shoot themselves. Uh oh. Behold, a time paradox. Yeah, I had never seen this scene before, and that was actually really cool. So yeah, that's the game's only true game over, and... Yeah, it's, uh... It happened. I mean, it's not even really a true game over in that it just respawns you at the beginning of the Mist of Time Marsh, allowing you to uh, retry. So yeah, even the game has a little failsafe in place for time paradoxes. But yeah, that's going to be it for Escape from Monkey Island. There's not much else extra to show off aside from small little bits of dialogue and jokes. But we'd be here forever if I showed off all of that. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you next time for the start of Natural Doctrine. Goodbye.